G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So the All-Stars game has just come to an end. We see the Indigenous All-Stars beating the Maori All-Stars 28-24 to in a cracker of a game. Honestly, I don't think it could have been much more entertaining than that. What a game. Um, so what I've done up here is I've got my little cheat sheet of things that I noticed in the game. So we've got the try scorers. I've run through them how they were all scored. I've got some key moments from the games, including um, my take on both the Warcry and the Harker. Uh, and then I'll take you through my top three plays for each team. So, try scorers. To start things off, we saw Zach Docker Clay get a nice rebound off the post and uh, scored a try there. Very clever play and took the Maori, Maori All-Stars to a 6-0 lead. Tyrell Sloan scored off a silky Brett Naden pass. So we went from Cody Walker to Naden. Naden got it away. And uh, Tyrell Sloan scored a very good try to put the Indigenous All-Stars back into it. Six to four. Uh, then we saw for the Maori All-Stars, Jesse Arthurs uh, practically went over untouched as he found a gap to score, uh, putting the Maori All-Stars up 12 points to four. Nico Hines sliced through to score a silky try to put the uh, Indigenous All-Stars up. Oh, well, actually, didn't put them up. Uh, Maori All-Stars still led 12 to 10. Then we saw a Brett Naden uh, try after a, a clean kick from Dane Laurie uh, was collected by Nico Hines. Hines found Naden. It looked offside, but at the end of the day, who cares? It was entertaining. What a try. Um, if that was an NRL game, though, I really think that goes up to the bunker. All right, next up, we saw Jordan Ricky absolutely steamroll players just to uh, cross over just before third quarter time. Uh, he put the all uh, put the Maori All Stars up eighteen to sixteen. After the break, Cobo scored a length of the field try, pretty close to length of the field. It was an incredible run. He had to beat like three or four defenders. Very strong individual try. That put the Indigenous All-Stars up 18 points to 20. All right. Then we saw a really clever grubber kick from Cody Walker um, to the wing where Cobo and Latrell were pretty much both going over the ball and Cobo scored that try. So that was Cobo's second. Uh, that put the Indigenous All-Stars up 24 to 18. Uh, some beautiful hands from Whiten gets Cobo over for his third try. That put the Indigenous All-Stars up 18-28. to 28. But then it was game on because Paul Turner with some silky hands gets the ball to Preston Ricky and Ricky crosses for a well-deserved try. Uh, but it fell short as the Indigenous All-Stars won 28-24. to 24. All right, my key moments. I've got the Indigenous War Cry and the Harker. What passion and just it was it was beautiful to see, man. Honestly, spine tingling performances from both sides. I was talking to my wife about it. We both watched it. Um, my wife was like, I, I could watch that all day. That, that if they were just doing that for the full game, she's like, I'd watch that. That's it was just it was beautiful, it was raw, it was just amazing, so good. Um, so that really set the scene for what a cracking game it was. Uh, Josh Kerr, Sinbin, I think it was fair. It really fired up James Fisher Harris, man. He 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 wanted blood and not his own because he was bleeding. But uh, yeah, Josh Kerr really fired up um, James Fisher Harris. Kerr spent ten minutes in the bin. Uh, that was about with like five seconds to go or something in the first half. So yeah, very good. I thought um, Ryan James was unbelievable in defence. Um, he. <laughs> He looked 10 years younger today. Really good. I, I really hope he comes back through like Queensland Cup and finds another team because tell you what, man, this man is still too good to be retired. Honestly, I've, I've always rated Ryan James and I thought he was phenomenal in this game. Um, I've written down Latrell Mitchell with a solid hit on Preston Ricky. Ricky made this massive break, huge break, palmed off like three players and he was met one-on-one -on -one with Latrell and Latrell just wrapped him up. Got him down and uh, very, very good tackle there from Luttrell. Uh, Nico Hines, I thought, was just outstanding. Um, I thought Luttrell had really good touches uh, at points of the game, but realistically was relatively quiet. Uh, Cody Walker had a very good game, but he doesn't make my top three Indigenous. 
So let's talk about uh, my top three Indigenous players. Uh, number one, my man of the match, Nico Hines. One try, one try assist, well over 200 metres and well over 200 metres, uh, kick metres as well. So very strong game there from Nico Hines. I think he got a couple of tackle breaks as well, a few line break assists. He was brilliant, uh, outstanding, arguably the best player on the ground. Uh, next up, I've got Jermaine Hopgood down here. I thought he was phenomenal. I didn't hear the commentators talk about him much at all. Uh, I'm pretty sure he played the full 80 minutes or he might have spent a few little like five-minute stints off on the bench or something like that. He was fantastic. 96 metres. 53 of those were post-contact metres. So uh, he, he's he's making the, he, he's pushing the defence back in that. He had five tackle breaks, 45 tackles. I think he only missed about two or three. So huge effort there from Jermaine Hopgood. I think Parramatta had something amazing there. Uh, originally, I did have Cody Walker at number three until Selwyn Cobbo scored his third try. Uh, I thought Selwyn in the second half was amazing. First half was pretty poor. I think he had about four errors in the first half, but he made up for it in the second half. Three tries, 208 metres, eight tackle breaks, two line breaks. Very, very good game there. For the Maori All-Stars, I've got uh, all three of them are forwards. I had Paul Turner. I uh, sorry, not Paul Turner. Zach Docker-Clay as my uh, third option, but I've swapped him out for another one, which we'll talk about in a second. But my first one, uh, Joe Tarpanay, 171 metres, 76 post-contact metres, six tackle breaks, 30 tackles with zero misses. Huge game there from Joe. I thought he was outstanding. Um, definitely the Maori's best player. So, uh, yeah, massive, massive wraps on him. He was huge, as he always is. Uh, my second one, another player that's all, that always stands up for his club, James Fisher-Harris. Really strong performance by him. 163 metres, 66 post-contact metres, and 26 tackles. Huge game from him. Uh, finally, I've put in Preston Rickey. I think he deserves to be talked about here as one of the better Māori players. One try, 56 metres, five tackle breaks and a line break. That try was outstanding. The break he made where Latrell stopped him, brilliant. I thought he was outstanding. Um, Honourable mentions, I guess. Cody Walker definitely deserves one. Uh, who else is there for the uh, for the Indigenous team? Uh, Cody Walker, 100%. I thought Shaq Mitchell was very good. Uh, he had some strong carries there as well. Um, let me just get this up. Team lists. Uh, who else have we got? I thought Jack White was really good defensively. Brett Naden in the first half was outstanding. Uh, if it wasn't for Cobbo's second half, it would have been either Cody Walker or Brett Naden as my third pick because Brett Naden was really good, man. Shout out to Brett because he, he definitely deserved a game like this. I'm glad he had it. Um, Kieran Mosley, brilliant. He had a really good game as well. Obviously, Ryan James we've spoke about a little bit. Um, other than that, Bailey Butler, the Rockhampton boy, my hometown, really good game. Proud of him. Uh, over to the uh, the Maori All Stars. No one really on their bench. I thought other than uh, Preston Ricky was good. Jordan Ricky was very good. I thought Britton Nakora was good, without being great. I didn't think he was fantastic, but he had good uh, good yeah, good touches occasionally. Corey Hurry, we were Naira. Very good as well. Uh, Paul Turner, Zach Docker, Clay, really good in the halves. I I was, I did not expect them to play as well as they did. They were actually really good. And Hayes Perham in the first half was pretty good. He had a few good touches there, as did Jesse Arthurs. But, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap it up from me. Let me know what you guys thought of the game. Did you like it? Did you not like it? I uh, brought a different concept to the setup of this. It's not much. It's just a little picture of me up in the corner. And... Um, yeah, some background, I guess. So something a little bit different, just so you don't get to see how bloody messy my house is at the moment because we have a, a lot of rats. My wife's taken into a rat show. So, uh, yeah, trying to trying to work out some stuff around the house. So I uh, did not want you to see the background there. Cannot wait for our house to be built so I get my own office. But, um, yeah, guys, thank you all so much for tuning in. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Really hope you enjoyed the All-Stars game. Plenty more footy to come tonight. So this video, uh, I, well, I probably will drop it now, but it probably won't uh, take off until a bit later. So, uh, yeah, 
Thank you all so much once again. And as always, my friends, I shall see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Thank you.